Well, the FAA just dropped an emergency order restricting U.S. airspace grounding all rocket launches. I'm Zach, and this is your TLP Space News Update. Late on November 6th, the FAA issued what it's calling an emergency order establishing operating limitations on the use of navigatable airspace. In the order, the FAA states, beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern on November 10th, and until this order is canceled, commercial launches and re-entries will only be permitted between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. local time. This emergency order effectively bans all launches and re-entry operations during the day, something that has never been done before in U.S. spaceflight history. According to officials, the curfew is being implemented to address fatigue among air traffic controllers amid the ongoing government shutdown, which is now stretched into its second month. With limited staffing, the FAA says overnight launches are easier to manage with reduced civilian air traffic, helping minimize risks while resources remain strained. The move applies to all commercial operators, including SpaceX, Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, Relativity, United Launch Alliance, and so many more, and could disrupt multiple missions over the coming weeks. But it does not affect NASA. So if SLS was on the pad, it could launch. But everyone else, they're stuck on the ground. Make sure to subscribe for live launch coverage even in the middle of the night. I'll be here and the latest space news updates. If the curfew lasts through next week, the following missions could be affected. Blue Origin's escapade mission on New Glenn to Mars. If it slips even 24 hours, it'll fall into the restricted daylight window. SpaceX Starlink 6-87 from Florida. A little bit more on that in a second. SpaceX Transporter 15's rideshare mission from Vandenberg in California. SpaceX Starlink 6-89 and 6-85 from Florida. Rocket Lab's suborbital electron from Virginia if it's delayed for more than 14 minutes. And SpaceX's Sentinel-6B mission from California. And that's only in the next week. Today, we've seen already the first adjustment. SpaceX has now just scheduled Starlink 6-87 to the opening of the evening window on Monday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, making it the first launch to comply with the new FAA curfew. We expect other missions to follow suit over the coming hours and days as launch providers reshuffle their schedules and see what missions are possible. For now, no mission has been formally delayed indefinitely, but with the new overnight rule taking effect, the industry is bracing for congestion and late-night launch operations nationwide. Just because that's the new window doesn't mean that's when a mission could actually launch. A big one everyone watching is Blue Origin's escapade mission to Mars on New Glenn. Blue Origin just released a statement saying we have been working closely with the FAA to ensure New Glenn's upcoming launch of the escapade mission to Mars can proceed. We will continue to work with the FAA to maintain the safety and efficiency of the national aerospace system. The FAA hasn't said how long this curfew will last, only that it'll remain in effect until it's canceled, so likely till the shutdown's over. They've also not explained how local time will be determined for re-entries that cross multiple time zones. Industry experts are calling the move unprecedented, warning it could force significant scheduling shifts, nighttime staffing costs, and a ripple effect across the supply chain and the launch schedule. This is one of the most sweeping and disruptive regulatory actions in modern U.S. spaceflight or aerospace history. I want to know what you think. How many launches do you think are going to be affected while this is in effect? And when do you think the curfew might end? Let me know down in the comments. For the Launchpad, I'm Zach. Thanks for watching. Because space is better together, I'll see you on the next one. Probably going to be in the middle of the night for a Starlink. I hope to see you there.